Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 153. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Class C Super Lap days. Uh, we got the Nurburgring, Rally D, Positano. Positano. Uh, and then for Jimmy Kaido, full circuit. Let's get going with a Honda S2000. All right, here we go. First of the races of this thing. Thing. I don't know anymore. Let's go. A linked arm. I assume that means lights on. Fair enough. Boop a doo. Boop a doo. Boop a doo. Boop a doo. Not bad. Good start so far. I love this city. I really do need to um, figure out how to get the Rally DLC for Horizon 1. I'd love to be able to buy it. Like Microsoft. You can take my money. I will buy it. just want to get the DLC. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop a doo. Boop a doo. Bump down. I have six months to find it, basically. Because I will have finished this in about a month and a half or two. Most of what four will be finished in about four months, maybe five. Probably about five months. Similar time to how long this takes, to be fair. Because even though it looks longer, there's a lot. Like, there are shorter events overall. Boop a doo. Bump a dum. Bump a dum. Oh, you're a dick, you're a dick, you're a dick.
Turn on the lights. Yeah. Okay, what up? Thank you very much for the drink. Uh, I will have that drink in a minute. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Turn on the lights. Fair enough, fair enough. I do get why Fred again has been so popular this year. Turn on the lights. Turn on the lights. Yeah. Bloody hell. This is one hell of an engine rev there. Right on the rev limit, huh? Hey, no worries, Cotto. Appreciate it, man. We're on the back straight now. Let's go. <laughs> I still can't believe this. They bought the license in this game to use the Nurburgring, and they literally use it just at the end section of the game. That seems so backwards.
Do 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 do. Be do be do be. All right, not bad. I'll take that. Thank you very much. This is it. <laughs> I'm so tired. But I gotta get these four episodes recorded. Ah, my drink. Very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Could I want a melon? Get out the way, Nissan. <laughs> Fuck off, Nissan! Alright. Looks good. Ba bum ba bum bum bum. This is a beautiful racetrack. It's not a racetrack, but you know, it, it it's beautiful. These lovely lads. I still miss the damage models of this game. Like now it's just, it looks like the body panels are just turned into like bags of crisps. You're ones that you've opened up and then flattened out, but they've still got like little crinkles in them. That's all, all the body panels look like in motorsport. Any future motorsports all. This is weird. I don't know. Uh, I'm doing good, Kate. Thank you so much for asking. All right, not bad. We got the fun section. Hairpin turns. I really love this track so much. I can't remember at all. Yo, ASWD, what up? How are you today? Hopefully having a good day. Uh, yeah, I cannot remember at all if this game is in Motorsport 4, so. Good to hear, man, good to hear. For something to help me. <laughs> There's a guy. Today is the day. <laughs> I can't read. Today is the day I give up my Xbox One for an Xbox Series X for Christmas. Hey, nice one. Enjoyed the upgrade. At least you're going to a Series X, though. 
not Series S. <laughs> I still don't understand how Microsoft... I, I, I think Microsoft is a scummy company for how they advertise the Series S. Big time. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> I got no problem with the Series X. I think it's a good system. But the Series S, with how underpowered it is, it's genuinely harming Xbox's ecosystem. Xbox doesn't know it, but it it's harming their ecosystem. Whichever tech designer decided to make the GPU in the Series X... Sorry, the Series S... A third of the performance of the Series X, whilst also being worse performing than the Xbox One X, needs to lose their job. <laughs> Big time. That man needs to lose his job. I only got the S because I could afford the X and wanted an next gen console. It was made to expand gamers or something. No. I, I've got no problem with the no disc inserts. That's not the problem I have with it. I think that's a good idea. And to be honest, the Series X, if they were to made the Series S a little bit bigger, but just put a Series X in there without the disc drive, I wouldn't have anything to complain about it. Obviously, some people want the disc drive. Some people don't care for the disc drive. That's up to personal preference. But to make a system that doesn't have a disk drive, has less storage than the Series X, yeah, that's fair enough. the The only reason I would ever say to get a Series S is if you're traveling and it is your only option. I think it's an awesome, like, console for when you're out and about. Like, say, for example, you're going on trips for a camper van. I don't know, if you're tr a trucker and you're on the roads a lot, a, a system like the Series S seems like a great idea. Anything else, though, really would not recommend it, especially if you're going to put it on a desk or n next to your TV or whatnot. Like... You may as well just get the better console. Because... Uh, oh, I'll get onto it in a second. See, one of the stupidest things I've ever seen... And I'm, I'm going to go on about the Series S again. I don't think the Series S has space for a disk drive. But, like... Um... Uh, what's it called? The... The Series S is less than ideal, like, even if it had a disk drive in it, I still don't think it'd be worth it, because it's the performance that I have a problem with. Like, there should always be, like, a disk and a digital version nowadays, because so many people just buy digital games. I got a digital PS5, because I barely play disk games. Um... He says as he's playing a disc version of Motorsport 3. Shh. <laughs> um, no, but one of, the, one of the stupidest things I've ever seen, going back on about the Series S, is when the Series S was coming out, and even for like a year afterwards, the amount of people I saw that was like, I'm going to be upgrading my system, I've bought a Series S and I've bought the expansion card so I can have an extra terabyte of storage... And I'm just like, you're the biggest fucking idiot the world has ever seen. Now, I understand if you if you can't afford a Series X and you go for the Series S, that's sort of understandable. But if you have the option to, you know, wait a couple months, save, and then get a Series X, you should always take that option over the Series S. But if you literally, you know, cannot afford a Series X, then that's fair enough. That's understandable. But this is someone who has spent, mind you, the Series S when it came out was, what, $300? Um, so for a games console that's cost you $300, uh, and the Xbox Series X is $500, you're then putting in a $200, well, 
one terabyte SSD that, may I remind you, the only reason it's that expensive is because it's the only option you have. The SSDs, my SSD and my PC, I've got a terabyte one that goes into my PC that cost me 50 quid. That is faster than the Xbox expansion cards and the Xbox SSDs that are built into it. Obviously, I don't have a problem with the speed because, to be fair, gaming... The speeds are getting ridiculous on SSDs and it, they have to be built for it, so... When you're running standard games off of that SSD, there's not a huge amount of improvement whether you were running a 2500 megabyte a second transfer or 5000 like the PS5 has. However, what I do have a problem with is the fact that you've basically spent 500, $550 on a system that is underpowered, has 1.5 terabytes of storage and no disk drive. Now, if you used your brain, you know, that thing that's in your head, and looked at the price of the Series X, which would have been $500, similar price to what you would have had if you bought a Series S and an expansion card, but you would have a much more powerful system. Sure, you wouldn't have 1.5 terabytes of storage, but you'd have a terabyte at least... You know, which I, I would gladly give up that extra 500 gigabytes to have an actual decent system. And, get this, a disk drive. For pretty much the same price. Uh, honestly, it's unreal. Like, the, the stupidity of some people that... And again, I'm, I'm not complaining that if someone couldn't afford a Series X and an expansion card. But, the problem I have... Is like, why would you spend money on a really underpowered system and an expansion card when you could just get the higher performing system that is pretty much... The only thing is, you're losing 500 gigs of storage, which isn't even 500 gigs because after formatting and that, it's more like 450, 420, something like that. So it's not even as big of a hit as on paper it looks like. It's just such a silly, silly thing. Strange. I've had someone reply and ask them about the DLCs. Awesome. Um. Can pay five seven nine. Is that in um USD or a? Is it a UD? For Australian dollars? Or is that GBP? I'm, try I'm trying to remember my currency abbreviations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> AUD. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, so... That's not too bad, actually. 579 is about... F 380 quid? 370? Maybe 400? Which, I mean, for a Series X that comes with a controller, that's not bad. That's a pretty decent price. The thing is, right, a lot of people will be like... I've, I've seen people make arguments that, oh yeah, but the, the Series S is not actually that underpowered, like, because it's more efficient. And... I'm telling you now, right? The Series S, because of how its architecture is, um, what is it? The it's got 12 gigabytes of RAM, which again is less storage for like actual games to, you know, when they're be open and being used. There's less memory in the system, which. By the way, the min one of the requirements to run X-Enhanced titles is that they have to utilize the 16 gigabytes of RAM that the One the one X came with. The One S and the original Xbox One only came with 12 gigabytes of RAM. So, that upgrade was, you know, part of those patches. Because the Series S doesn't have 16 gigabytes of RAM, 
it was such an easy fix. One extra RAM chip, or if, if they were smaller RAM chips, two, whatever. But add four gigabytes of RAM to make it 16 gigabytes, and technically speaking, the Series S could have been capable of running 1X games. But because Microsoft cut corners, and cut the wrong corners, they ended up making a system that something like that, they end up, uh, what's it called? Not being able to run X enhanced titles. So you have to run the standard version. Which again, is the exact same version of games that the original Xbox One would run. So the One X that came out in 2017 was able to run some games at higher quality than even the Series S can. And that came out in 2020. It just blows my mind. Big city life, me try to get by. Pressure nice, I'm no matter how hard me try. But, I mean, a lot of tech people, whenever they're doing, like, tech comparisons of, like, games and stuff like that, they'll always pick the higher hardware. But the amount of people that actually, like, say that the Series S is a good console, like, most of the points they make up, like, I genuinely believe that Microsoft have paid out of pocket and said, here, say good things about this system. Because there's no way in hell. Like, the Series S is just such a shit system. Like, it, the only use case that I would say, yeah, fair enough, I'd recommend the Series S for that, is if you're literally a traveler and you travel, whether that be in a lorry or whatnot. I don't know what people would travel in, but if you travel, then maybe it's a good idea. I'd probably be even pushed to say that I believe the Steam Deck could probably do a better job. And to be honest, now that the Steam Deck is out and it's like easy to buy, I'd probably even recommend like to people who travel, don't even bother with Xbox, just get a Steam Deck. Honestly, it's, it's such a weird, weird, weird shit. It's, 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 I don't know. I think Microsoft were on some strong drugs. Very strong drugs when they made that system. All right, we got one more thing to do. Let's do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.